Hi guys, welcome to Learning Electronics Repair. And I have some multimeters on my desk today. Those of you who watch the channel regularly will have seen at least one of these before. This is my DM40C multimeter. I reviewed this a few months ago now, and this has become a staple for this channel. I use this all the time. This is now my go-to multimeter. So you may wonder why do I have three of these on the desk and some cables? Well, there are actually three versions of this multimeter. So this is the DM40C, and there's also a DM40B and a DM40A. And if you look at the sales listings, you'll find there's an option for a luxury version or kit as well. So I was talking with Alien Tech, very nice people, and I suggested that they offer a free giveaway, that we have a free Christmas giveaway, a competition. And they said they've never done this before, but they were so pleased with the review, and a lot of you guys have been buying these, that they agreed. So today I'm just going to announce the competition. What we have to give away is one of the DM40A multimeters, which is this one, okay. We also have a second prize, which is one of the T90 soldering irons. Again, I reviewed this a couple of months ago. I will link that review. There are three models again. I actually gave one of these to Detlef, my friend, and the other one to Carlos, my other friend and co-conspirator, shall I say, so they can use them on their YouTube channels. This one I have here, this is the T90C, but the one we're actually going to give away is a T90A, which is this one. So this takes the C210 or T210 tips, we can actually use those terms interchangeably. This is the one that was ideal for SMD soldering. It worked very, very well. Again, I'll link the review so you can have a look. So one of you guys can win one of these. And the third prize is going to be one of the Alien Tech LT1 Mini Smart Tweezers LCR tester, which is this. I've not looked at this one on the channel, so I will make a short review for this. I'll do it on a separate video so we can give it a little bit of a run, see how well this works. Okay. So we have lots of goodies to give away this Christmas. About the competition. First of all, the prize that you win, if you're one of the lucky winners, is not one of these you see on my desk. You will get a brand new one direct from Alien Tech. And this competition is open worldwide. Any of you can enter, okay? The competition will open on the 26th of December. So that's the day after Christmas Day. And all you'll need to do is post in the comments, say, I want to win. And you'll be added to the list of people who'd like to win something, okay? The competition will stay open until the 4th of January. So we could call this a New Year giveaway, in actual fact. And on the 4th of January, we have a live stream. So on the live stream, we will draw the winners. You don't have to watch the live stream to win, but we do it live just so everybody can see this is completely open, above board, nothing is faked or fixed. This is a free competition, open to everybody equally, okay? So remember guys to visit the channel from the 26th of December, and if you want to enter the competition, you will see the video there where you can get onto the list of lucky people. Okay. In this video, let's have a look at the difference between these three versions of the DM40 multimeter. And I will say straight away, you probably know this, I absolutely love this multimeter. I use this all the time now. This replaced my fluke, okay? I think that gives an indication of how much I like this and how good it is. So the one I reviewed was this model. This is the DM40C, the standard version, okay? The standard version came with these meter probes. Nice and sharp, I've been using these with it. These are about 1.1 meters long, including the probes, okay? So about one meter of cable on those. 
Here is the luxury kit. So Alien Tech sent me one of the kits separately. We can have a look. What this includes is a thermocouple for measuring temperature. It's polarized, marked plus and minus on both sides. And we can see the workshop, yeah, just under 26 centigrade. That's the ambient temperature put my finger on. So obviously my body temperature a little bit more. Yeah. Very useful these, especially when you're doing things like BGA work and desoldering or using a hot plate. I use them quite often. Actually, I have a separate temperature meter or rather two of them. But yeah, now I can use this. So that's part of the luxury kit. And the other part of the kit is these meter probes. These are more flexible, much more so than the other ones, the standard ones. These feel rather more rigid than these. Okay. Silicone leaves actually feels really nice, that. These come with some extremely sharp screw-in tips. You can see them. Okay, compared to the standard ones. And these fit into the probes. I don't know whether you can buy these tips separately. That would be nice in case you break one of them. There's a very small spanner. Yeah, you can just tighten these in so they don't come loose. Okay. Nice. And then there are these silicone or plastic covers to stop you stabbing your fingers or various other parts of your anatomy, which is what happens to me. And I guess anybody uses a multimeter with needle probes. Yeah. So those are the luxury kit. They are marked cat three, 1000 volt, 20 amp. And lengthwise, they're actually the same as the standard leads. But I know what's going on my meter. Regardless of which model you buy, DM40, A, B, or C, they come packed with a manual. So quite a nice user manual in Chinese and English. They come with a scope probe. This is a scope meter. Nice USB lead. Your meter probes. One of the, I'll say BNC, these are like a mini BNC. There is a name for these, but it never comes to mind. Okay. So as well as the probe, you have the cable with the clips. And the little screwdriver is for adjusting the probe. Okay. Here's the meter itself. So let's get all three meters out and then we can make some comparisons between them. If we compare the multimeters, DM40, A, B, and C, they all have voltage, current, ohms, capacitance, you can see, continuity, diode test. They have the Mr. Bleep feature on all of them. I will actually show that. That's one of the things I really like about that. Frequency, it does duty cycle as well, and temperature with the probe, okay? If we go into the range settings here, you'll see the difference. So. The DM40A, you can see, for example, on voltage settings, 400 millivolts range, 4 volts range, 40 volts range, and so on. The B, 500 millivolts, okay, 5 volts and so on. 600 millivolts, 6 volts and so on. And these two have this AC plus DC range, whereas this one does not. The AC DC range, I actually asked Alien Tech what this is for. So it's literally for measuring an AC voltage that has a DC offset. So a sine wave on a DC offset. Now, it does so by doing a little bit of mathematics. So it takes the AC voltage, works out the true RMS, and then adds that onto the DC voltage, and that gives you the reading. I immediately said to them, oh, is this good for finding ripple on power supply rails? meaning switch mode power supplies really but they said no you can't use that 
feature for that purpose because it's designed to run at low frequencies it's ac plus dc it will not do that at the frequencies you find in switch mode power supplies or book converters my idea was you could measure the dc voltage and then you could use ac plus dc and whatever the difference is well that's the noise nice idea but not implemented in this so the main difference really with this is for example on the 400 millivolts or the 600 millivolts if we go to that range on each meter you'll see they're all basically reading the same thing and we have a resolution down to 0 0.01 millivolts okay very sensitive at this range i short the laser will stop moving around like that so this meter will go up to 600 millivolts and then after that it will change range okay this will do it at 500 millivolts this will do it at 400 millivolts so when it goes up a range you lose some resolution so that's really the only practical difference that i can see between the three meters it's the point at which it goes up a range and then you lose some resolution we can see this more so for example with ohms range so again, we have a 600 ohm range of 500 and a 400, you see that. So this meter will read up to 60 mega ohms, this one to 40, this one to 50. And we find a similar thing if we look at current range and other ranges on here. Capacitance, for example. And Alien Tech actually sent me a document which actually highlights these differences. So we see between the three models, maximum display range, okay? They all have auto, they all have true RMS. This is a frequency response when measuring true RMS. This one doesn't have the AC plus DC, which I explained basically what that is. Same duty cycle measurement, all have data hold, relative measurements, extreme value measurement, max and min. I think this is when you're measuring the voltage, for example, it will give you the maximum and the minimum as well as the main reading. They all have the trend chart wave. That's the oscilloscope style display we see on the multimeter function. And here are the ranges which I was just demonstrating on the meters. So, for example, on the DM40A, you can measure capacitors up to 40 millifarads. That's 40,000 microfarads. 50,000, 60,000. And frequency range again, up to 40, 50 or 60 megahertz. All the meters will measure up to 10 amps, regardless of that. Okay, they all have a 10 amp range, AC and DC. So that's really the difference between the three models that we have. I'll just mention on frequency, by the way, that when I reviewed the multimeter above 20 megahertz, I couldn't actually measure any frequency it was just saying zero and alien tech tell me that is some limitation with the hardware so it will go up to 60 megahertz but you need considerably more signal level than i was putting in above 20 and that applies to the other meters as well okay so once you get above 20 megahertz you have to have quite some signal for it to read that if we look at current range, so 400 microamp range, 500 microamp, or 600 microamp range, okay, so you can see that's the basic difference between these, AC or DC. This is reading down to 0.01 of a microamp, that's 10 nanoamps, okay, and they all have the same resolution, it's just the maximum value you can read on that range, which is different. Now let's try the Mr. Bleep feature, because this is the other thing I really liked about these multimeters so here we have a 1m4007 yeah one bleep i hope you can hear that okay silicon rectifier this is a 1n5819 shot key and we get two bleeps okay short continuous bleep and LED, so we have a white and a blue LED here. I think this is the blue. Yeah. So it doesn't bleep on that, but it does light the LED quite strongly. 
my flute meter wasn't so good at that. It would light them but not read them. White LED. So if you can light blue and white LEDs, you can light any, to be honest. And we have this triple bleep range. So this normally is when we get an odd reading, about 1, 1 1.2 volt drop. The best way to demonstrate this is actually with an opto-isolator because this has a infrared LED, which is just over 1 volt. And can you hear the triple bleep? So let's try that on the DM40B, up to isolator, same triple bleep. Okay, continuous, silicon rectifier diode. Ah, shot key. And we'll do the same tests again. Okay, triple bleep. Single bleep. Double bleep. Okay. And again, we'll just test these LEDs. White. Blue. So that's basically the difference between these three multimeters. We also now know what is in the luxury kit, which you can order with whichever model you wish. Okay, for example, that is the DM40A without the luxury kit, and that's with. So about 10 euros extras have the high quality multimeter leads and the thermocouple. It does say here that the luxury kit has a magnetic PVC sleeve, but all the ones they sent me to review are standard kit and they stick very well okay yep the oscilloscope and the signal generator functions are the same between all of these so it's only really those differences in the multimeter and we pretty much looked at those in detail now. I would say personally, well, let's see what the difference is in price. That's probably a good thing to do. And we'll go with the standard kit. So this includes the oscilloscope probe and the, we'll call it BNC to crocodile clip lead. Okay. Because probably most of you would want those leads. You can buy them without with just the multimeter probes and USB. So on the DM40A, 109 euros basically. The same kit on the DM40B, 144. And the DM40C, 179. So that's your price range really. About 70 euros in difference between the two models top to bottom and obviously the B in between. I'm very, very happy with my DM40C. I use this all the time in my videos. I have done ever since I had it. You guys will know that if you're watching my channel. But to be quite honest, if it had been a DM40A, I'd be using it all the time on my videos, on my channel. The same. I haven't really come to any particular situation yet where I need that one versus this one. Maybe one day measuring very large value capacitors. But so far, not really. So, as always, I'll let you guys make your mind up. But one of you, if you enter the competition, is going to win one of these in the new year. Another one of you is going to win the T90A, the C210 version of this. And yet another is going to win the Smart Tweezers LT1. So, you know what? We better get this one reviewed before Christmas. Okay, hope you enjoyed that video. I'm sure a lot of you will enter the competition, so that opens on the 26th of December. The video will be published where you can enter, and the prize draw will be on the 4th of January. If you don't get a chance to watch the live stream, it's not a problem, because we will be publishing the results on this channel also. Okay, so guys, Merry Christmas, yeah, Happy New Year, and somebody, in fact three of you, are going to be very lucky.
Okay, but thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you all soon again on Learning Electronics Repair. Ciao for now, guys.